Hey everyone, this is Peter Vine. I hope you're doing awesome. We are going to take a look at a spread called the Four, Four Winds Spread. Now, I have done this before for us, but it's nice now that we've just had a new moon is to see what things are going to develop, okay? All right, so I'm also gonna do this as a double reading. I'll show you what I mean. So the first position is to, this is what we need to leave behind, okay? This is what we need to face. This is what you need to know. And this is what you gain. Oh, we got two cards here, okay? is also what we're leaving behind what we need to face what we need to know now of course all personal readings are at my website I give free readings every single day so if you want something personal you know and you want me to take the time for you and have an amazing healing with every reading just go to my website, okay? First thing, things we need to leave behind. And that's exactly what we're doing here with the six of hordes, six of hordes, six of swords. And so you can see that there's a lot of turmoil and uh, a lot of energy that's behind here that's um, heavier than this clear, smooth sailing in front. So we're leaving behind all of, well, we should be leaving behind all of the drama, all of the issues, all of the backbiting, all of the things that we no longer need or the things that no longer serve us. And we have to understand that as we take this journey to move forward, we are completely protected. We have everything that we need, but we do have to turn away from things that really drag us down it might be like I said you know people literally backbiting or you know making you feel responsible for everything making you work harder than you need to be or picking on you or whatever it is when we learn to sail away in our own way and strengthen because of making that decision for ourselves. We strengthen when we make the decision to move away and focus on ourselves. That's when we strengthen. We don't strengthen in the the crappy you know position that you're in and you're trying to make that better. You know, if it keeps on going, then you're being asked to change your your reaction, your view, the way that you speak the way that you see things and put yourself first. Then we have the eight of pentacles that sits with this as well. So we're letting go of everybody else's ideas, thought forms, negativity, issues, training, or whatever we had in the past that was keeps on coming up in our mind. We need to let it go and focus instead on our own direction, the next direction, Bring yourself into your study. Bring yourself into your place of receiving information that is protected and safe. You know, if you're overthinking or overdoing or over worrying, you're not in your higher self energy at all. When you're not aligned with your higher self, negativity can be around. So it's a, it's a matter of just taking that step to connect in with the higher aspect of yourself, which is like the fingertips of God working with you. Okay, what you need to face. We have the Four of Swords. Now, there could be something here. Um, it could be that you're exhausted mentally, physically, emotionally. When we get that way, we can be over the top emotionally. We can just be... Everything can just be so much larger than what it actually really is. The Four of Swords comes into our reading when we need to take a well-earned rest. We need to give ourselves that permission. Again, 
doing for yourself. Maybe for some of you, you're facing the fact that someone around you is not the same as they used to be, or someone is unwell, okay? Someone is not... I'm sort of hearing that someone is acting quite strange and you don't know what to do with that. And for some of you, there's also this sensation of uh, a turn, like someone is turning and it's, and it's difficult. It's not exactly um, what you thought life was going to be like or you didn't think that this person would ever do that, right? But what we need to face is that everybody has their own journey. We need to face that as we focus on letting go of inauthentic energy and we let go and allow ourselves to rest and relax in the fact that things are already changing in our favor. The Ace of Pentacles shows that this is an unexpected opportunity that's coming up when you give yourself the chance to rest and recover. Give yourself that chance for me, you know, having one day where I'm not doing something doesn't matter because I find myself doing something around our property or with the animals or it, it, it never stops. Having a two or three week break would not work for me. So I have to really, really take the time to rest in between things as well. And it's hard to admit that because we get told that we need to keep doing more and more and more, you know, from our parents or whatever. So to take a little break, is some people can feel guilty. It's time to let go of all that old brainwashing as well. So this leads us to what we need to know here. Okay. So what this is sort of indicating is there are going to be a lot of opportunities. There are going to be a lot of different choices that you need to make. Some of them are emotional or based in emotion. And because of that, you may find it difficult to uh, push forward because you have an emotional connection to something. Remember that fear is an illusion and fear can also be the root cause of so many people's issues and problems. And it's only, it's fake. It's something that we've created for ourself. The Queen of Wands comes uh, at the top to show you how to lead the way forward, that you have this energy within you. Like if you're giving advice to somebody else, you're not going to tell them that they're weak as anything and they might as well stay where they are. Do you know what I mean? You're going to inspire them. So you also have to give this to yourself. There are going to be options available to you. Don't fear them. Make a decision and believe that as you make that decision, everything will start to be clear to you, okay? See, the hangman and the 10. So the weight here in what you gain is the weight will be over and you're in that place of ultimate attainment. Now, the 10 of cups story is kind of interesting, but there is a take on it where you know, the storms were coming and, you know, the, the couple here were running and scattering around that were trying to make sense of, you know, where to go. They hadn't didn't have their house built or anything like that. And all of a sudden, with all the chaos came the rainbow, you know, and they're like, ah, finally, my God, a miracle is here. So remember that if you're amongst the chaos right now, you're about to get your rainbow. What are you going to do with it? You know, what are you going to do with it? The wait is over, but you've been enlightened the whole time. And once again, we get a double four of swords message. Be careful of conflicting thoughts and competing values and people who are draining you. I'm telling you, they keep on doing it and they don't mean, <laughs> they mean exactly what they're doing. Okay. There's no, um, you know, they want to see you fail. They want to trip you up or they want to manipulate you in some way, okay? So don't play the game. Put a stop to it so that you can be at peace. Hope you enjoyed. Sending blessings.